In case you didn't know, the Darius Cosmic Collection is now available for purchase on the Japanese eShop. All you need to do is create a new account and set the region to Japan, and you'll have full access to the eShop, regardless of where you are. With the addition of the digital version of the Cosmic Collection, we also received a patch for the physical version. But it doesn't seem like there are any patch notes, at least none that I could find explicitly, so I'm going to try and do my best and break the changes down, at least what I've been able to find. From the research I did online, I was able to find one Japanese website that, once I translated it, gave me a little hint at what the changes might be. It isn't much, but it states that there were minor changes to Darius, Darius 2, and Sagaya, and that Darius Gaiden was getting some noticeable bug fixes. It also states that once the patch is downloaded, all records and replays will be wiped. I can confirm this, as I scored a slightly higher score in the Darius new version before the patch, and now with a lower score, I was ranked 4th in the world. And also, all of my replays are deleted, which is actually really frustrating. I think this happens because the replays aren't actually a recorded video, but rather the game playing itself having recorded every input from your controller, so with the new updates the games would play differently and the replays wouldn't actually be replays. That's my theory anyway. I used to have a replay showing how the bomb in Darius Gaiden didn't always work, but never got the chance to actually record footage of that replay and now it's deleted forever. The replay I had saved recorded the fact that as I used a bomb, the replay recorded the button press that I had done even though nothing came out. This was really frustrating detail that used to happen on occasion while playing Darius Gaiden before the patch. Old news now though, since apparently one of the things that they supposedly fixed was this bomb issue. So far I haven't run into it again, so hopefully it has actually been fixed. The only issue I've run into since the patch was I used a bomb once and it went off, but I still died anyway. I I think I remember this happening to me once in the Saturn version too, so I guess I'll give it a pass. The biggest change of this entire update, and if you have a keen eye you may have already noticed this already, is that Darius Gaiden is much darker now. I actually really don't like this. I much preferred the old, bright look to the game. Now I can barely see the coelacanth on the title screen. I'm not sure why they felt the need to make this change. It's not game breaking, but it's frustrating to know that it used to look so bright and beautiful and now it's this muted and dark. I hate it. Also, I'm not sure if they bumped the difficulty or something, but throughout the 30-ish hours I had in Darius Gaiden on the Switch before the patch, not once did I see Ancient Dozer do this attack and now it seems like every time I fight him he does it. It's not really a bad thing, but it's strange. Aside from replays being wiped and high scores being reset, I couldn't notice any differences from the other Darius games though. But to be fair, most of my time was spent between Darius Gaiden and Darius 2. The digital versions are interesting. You can either get the standard edition or the consumer edition. The standard edition comes with the arcade games, Darius, Darius 2, both versions of Sagaya and Darius Gaiden. The consumer edition only comes with the home console ports, so that's Darius Twin for the Super Famicom and the Super Nintendo. Darius 2 for the Mega Drive, Sagaya on the Sega Master System, Darius Force for the SNES, and Darius Alpha for the PC Engine. The version I own, the Special Edition, is not available for digital download. The Special Edition comes with all the Darius games on one cartridge, so in order to play them all you'll have to buy both digital versions, kind of similar how the Mega Man Legacy Collection works. If I find out any more information, I'll link to it in the description. I also have the links to the pages I found with the information on them if you want to look into it yourself. I'm Boffiner, and I'll see you all next time!